This is CPM Pre-Calculus Chapter 2, number 151. So sketch a graph of the unit circle with this angle specified. So we have three angles and they're all special angles on our unit circle. So part A is pi over 6, okay? So we know that our unit circle is here, right? And we know this is zero radians. We go up and around the whole circle and we get back to 2 pi radians. Half of the circle we know is just pi radians. Half of, or just a quarter of the circle, like half of this half, is half, half of a radian or pi over 2 radians. Um, going all the way around here is just pi over 2 plus pi over 2 plus pi over 2, which is 3 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2. So where is pi over 6? Well, we know if we cut pi over 2 into three pieces, right, one-third of pi over 2, right, one-third of means to multiply is just pi over 6. So if we were to cut this region, quadrant 1, into three pieces, three equal pieces, right, just like you're cutting slices of pizza, each one of these is pi over 6. So starting at 0, right, this right here is a graph of the angle pi over 6. So let me go ahead and write where it should stop in green, right? This is pi over 6. Well, let me use red because that's what the question has. Okay, so this angle is pi over 6. Alright, let's go into part B. Part B here is 3 pi over 4. Okay, so one thing to note is this is just 3 pi over 4 is just pi over 4 3 times. That's equal to pi over 4 plus pi over 4 plus pi over 4, right? Because that's 3 in the numerator over 4 is 3 pi over 4. So if we were to graph our unit circle, we already said this is 1, this is pi over 2, this is pi, and this is 3 pi over 2. If we were to cut each quadrant in half, exactly half, right? Well, half of, remember this means of, multiply, half of pi over 2 is equal to pi over 4, right? So if I cut in half, then this is pi over 4, this is another pi over 4, right? If I cut this one in half too, each one, every time we cross the line now is pi over 4. So three of them, I'm going to draw in red, right? It's starting at 0, going counterclockwise, because that's positive, and stopping at the third pi over 4, right? This is the ending point, cutting quadrant 2 in half, and that's 3 pi over 4 here, all right? And remember, because this is pi over 4, this is pi over 4, this is 2 pi over 4, which equals pi over 2, and then finally we get to 3 pi over 4. All right, so let's go on to the last part, um, C. Again, um, we're given a, a special angle that's 5 pi over 3, and that's 5 pi's over 3, right? So that's pi over 3 plus pi over 3 plus pi over 3 plus pi over 3 plus pi over 3, right? That's 5 of them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if we draw our unit circle, right? Here's our unit circle. Well, I can't draw a circle, so I'm just going to go ahead and draw the angle. Um, what is, where is pi over 3? Well, again, we know this is 0, this is pi over 2, this is pi, this is 3 pi over 2, and this is 2 pi again, going all the way around in the counterclockwise direction. Um, pi over 3, remember, is if we broke each section into two equal slices, right, this was pi over 6. When we get to two of them, this is going to be 2 pi over 6. If we simplify that, that's pi over 3. So this is the important thing to note is one of these pi over 3s goes 2 pi over 6 distances, right? 1, 2 gives us pi over 3. So let's go ahead and separate the unit circle into regions of with pi over, pi over 6, excuse me, right? Then let's go ahead and um, I'm going to use red, starting at 0, right? So this is, this right here gives us um, 1 pi over 3, 
Going two more gives us another power of 3, so that's 2 power of 3. 2 more gives us 3 power of 3. 2 more gives us 4. 2 more gives us 5, right? So this starts at 0, 1 power of 3, 2 power of 3, 3 power of 3, 4 power of 3, 5 power of 3. Okay, so this right here ends the angle 5 power of 3. So this is the ending point, right, of 5 pi over 3. So starting at 0, going all the way around counterclockwise, stopping here at 5 pi over 3. So that ends for us CPM Precalculus Chapter 2, number 151.